cold out there. Let's get home. Well, I'm just at the caravan. I've just come up to check it. I come up every week just to make sure everything's okay. And there's a layer of uh, there's a layer of ice on the on the ground. I'm really glad I've got it covered. Everything seems okay inside. Um, oh God, it's freezing. So what I'm going to talk about this week is uh, when the reversing bit goes off is caravanning holidays. Um, so you've bought your caravan, you've uh, bought all the things you need for your caravan, and then you need to go away. So I'm going to go through what it's actually cost us this year for our holidays. I know you've got your initial outlay of your caravan and everything, but I'm going to go through what it's actually cost us for all our holidays this year. So join me back home shortly, I'm going to have a brew and uh, we'll go through what it's cost us. nice and warm back at home so as I was saying um, what I've done is I've looked at all our holidays this year and I've wrote them down on a list which I'm going to go through and it's just actually the cost of the holidays not the cost of everything that you do while you're there such as buying your food and uh, paying for other things that might be on the site this is just the actual cost of the holidays um, so we're going to go through our year so let's start off, and at the beginning of the year, we went to Hafani Moor, which is in North Wales, near Pathelli. It's a haven site, it's quite a big site, there's lots of touring, and the reason why we picked that is because it has a fully serviced pitches, and there's lots of entertainment on there, and it's not far from the beach, and it's quite a good location. There is another haven site not far away at Porth Maddock called Green Acres, which is slightly smaller, and I do actually prefer that one, but Molly wanted to go to this uh, Fanny Moor this year, so we went there. And we did seven nights there, and that was £285.75 p. Um, the time of the year we went was Easter, so it was a little bit dearer than we'd normally pay. But uh, you do pay that little bit more for the fully serviced pitches. Our next trip out was to Waterfoot Park which is uh, near Oldswater, a lovely village called Pooley Bridge. We did seven nights there. Again, that was a fully serviced pitch. Uh, it was a great site, possibly one of my favourite sites that we've been to. And that was uh, £191.50, which in May I didn't think was too bad. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's definitely a site that we are going to go back to, hopefully next year. After that, um, we changed our caravan, uh, obviously, when we did the Waterfoot Park video, and we did a weekend, uh, I don't even remember, I fitted a motor mover, uh, and we wanted to test that out, so we did a weekend at Blackpool North Caravan and Most Home Club site. That was a really good site, quite close to Blackpool. Um, there was, um, I looked at the reviews, and people said that, you know, there was quite a bit of noise from the road, but we didn't hear anything, we were quite far away from the road there and so we did two nights there a weekend away and that was £47.80 so, uh, when we finished school uh, we went to Woodclose Park which is just outside Kirby Lonsdale what a fantastic village that is um, it is really worth a visit some really nice pubs and really good walks around there uh, the site itself was actually uh, part of the group the we went to Waterfoot Park in May it's part of the same group so uh, the Woodclose Park was one of the, the the other sites they have three I can't remember where the other one was um, so that was for six nights uh, slightly dearer fully serviced again £195 after there we did our trip down to Devon which um, was a long trip um, it took us ages to get there on the way down there, we stopped off at Minnow's Touring Park, and that was £28 just for one night, and that is a CS, a really good site. It, they, again, on that one, it said for the overnight pitches, there were uh, the pitches were quite close to the main road, which is not too far away. 
Uh, I didn't really hear anything. I was that tired that night because it took us about 10 hours to get there and I slept really well to be honest with you. So yeah, that was just £28 for that one. And then we had our big summer holiday which was down at Beverly Park in Paynton. This was a fantastic site for Molly. Um, we uh, pitched up on their fully serviced pitch and I think we saw Molly a couple of times. No, we did see her. But she was off and she was uh, everywhere on the site. It had swimming pools on there. There was entertainment for the children. There was an arcade. And it was all safe and secure. So it was a really good site to visit. Now, that was our biggest holiday of, of the year. It was 14 nights and it was £800.71. And, uh, 800 um, I think that was worth it really for the, for the site. It was quite a good quite a good site. You know, we really enjoyed that. On the way back from there, we did four nights at Cheddar Caravan and Motorhome Club site. Again, another fantastic site that was really ideally located for Cheddar. We went up to the gorge uh, and we went into the caves. That was really you know a really fantastic break after fourteen nights in Devon. Um, the site there was uh, £98.10, and pence. so four nights down there, which was uh, really good. And again, probably another site that we will visit to again. Our next trip after that was uh, October. We went to York, Beechwood, Grange, Caravan and Motorhome Club site. We did four nights there, Monday to Friday. What a cracking site. It's just been refurbished. The toilet blocks were absolutely fantastic. It was ideally located, uh, there was a massive retail park nearby uh, for a, a park and ride which would get you into the centre of York. And the park and ride, the car park was free and you only paid for the bus which was, you know, I think it was about £5 for me and Angela to get into there. So that's a really good site. So four nights there was £96.80. Our last trip of the year was to um, Beechwood. Grange, uh, is that right? No, Beechwood Staples. Beechwood Stables, that's it. And that was a, a CL which is just outside um, Cleveland's. And uh, again, fully serviced pitches. It was a fantastic site and it was um, £36 for two nights. Uh, minimal facilities in terms that there was um, just a couple of showers and a couple of toilets in there. but. You know, it, it, it is what it is. It's a, it's a small CL and a great location, not far from Blackpool and not far from Cleveland's. So, you know, that was another one that we'll possibly visit again for a weekend. So, the total cost. Now, this year, I was quite surprised, we have had 47 nights away in the caravan. And that has cost us a total of £1,779.66. Now that sounds quite a lot, um, but if you break that down, so we've got 47 nights and it comes to £37.80 pence per night. Now we split that between three of us because there's three of us that go away and that's uh, £12.62 per night. Now we have been away a lot, I don't know how many times you guys get away, but 47 nights I think that's pretty good going for a year away in the caravan. To put that into perspective, next year we're going on a family holiday and we're going to Corfu. No, I'm not taking the caravan. They wouldn't let me. We're flying over there. And uh, our total cost of our holidays in the caravan this year, the actual flights are a £1,000 more than just the cost of the holidays. It's uh, a one-off holiday that we're going on with my brother and his family. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm still looking forward to my caravan holidays. So there you go. The cost of our holidays this year, you can, you, you know, we spent quite a bit, but you can do it really cheap if you go to CLs or you go to CSs or you go to smaller sites. You don't have to pay that much. So looking forward, um, I'm going to be doing some more videos over the Christmas break. Obviously, it's Christmas in a few days, Christmas Day in a few days, and I'm going to be doing some more videos. I've got a few repair jobs to do in the caravan, so don't think that I'm uh, giving up on the caravan. I'm still there. You might see, you know, a few most homes uh, on the channel. I'm not. I know I keep talking about most homes. I am not getting a most home. I'm staying with my caravan for at least another ten years. So thanks for watching. Uh, there might be a little video just before Christmas Day. So I'll uh, see you soon. Bye bye.
So let's start off, and at the beginning of the year, we went to uh, a Fanny Moor, which is in North Wales. Excuse me. Mm.